Hey guys, BSG bring you another Grand Cross video and we finally got information on the 2.5 year anniversary for Grand Cross on the global side of things. Now, this update is actually going to take place a little later than usual. Uh, we've been getting updates, at least for anniversaries, a little earlier than this. It'll start at 9 p.m. if you live on the West Coast and it'll end at 11.30. But if you live on the East Coast like myself, um, it'll actually start at 12 and it'll end at 2.30 unless they extend it, of course. But um. Yeah, it's a little later than usual, which it's fine. You know, it's not all the time that we're going to get it early or whatnot. But I don't know if I'll be up during this time. I might be up. I might stay up. Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, we finally got information for the 2.5 anniversary. Now, we already knew this was coming because obviously JP already had it. But maybe there's a couple things that for the most part, it doesn't look like there's anything that's different from JP side of things. But uh, we'll see. Right. We'll see as we go through this. So um we're gonna get chapter 21 which will pretty much be arthur versus meliodas zeldris uh you know kusak and chandler and whatnot uh and then also where arthur dies i don't know where it ends i'm pretty sure it ends when arthur dies i'm not too too sure but we'll see right we'll see uh but yeah that's gonna be coming out with this uh update or whatnot so that's pretty pretty good in terms of gems i think that'll get us to 30 gems i'm not I'm not too sure about that either, actually. I'm not sure if that'll get us to the 30 gem mark, but if it does, that's really, really good. And then obviously we have full grown wings king chad king himself coming out on global so he's pretty much the, the best freaking unit in the game uh <laughs> like uh he's he's really really good right he's really really good uh you can reach 900 to get him for sure for every time you finish out a rotation Hopefully I get him two out of six. I'm not looking for six out of six. I'm just looking for a two out of six full grown wings king. That'd be nice to have. Of course, you guys already know I'm probably only gonna get him one out of six because the rates are back to being um what is it? Is it 0.25% instead of bit instead of it being a 0.5%, which is kind of a cuck, but at least the festival units are back on banners, right? That's what really matters. The festival units are now back on the banners, so that's good. Now, people got a chance to get the one Purgatory Bond, Merlin, and Full Grown Wing Team. Like, that's really, really good. Like, this banner already has more value than the Festival Gother banner, right? So, we only had Festival Gother banner and Small Wings King. Those are the only two banners in this game's lifespan that the Festival units were actually rated up at a 0.5%, which is insane. Like, that's actually crazy. I really hope for the, um, you know, for the third year anniversary that we get a 0.5% banner, including multiple festival heroes, right? That'd be really, really good. The new hero or heroes or whatever they do, uh, rated up at 0.5% and the old ones on the banner are at 0.25%. That'd be really, really good. But uh, knowing that Marvel, they're not gonna do that. But anyway, full grown wing tickets coming out. So be hyped, get ready, cause he will be here. Uh, let's keep going down. And then we have the event. So pretty much we knew about all these events as well. Like we knew King was coming out. We already have some of the, uh you know some of the tickets uh we i don't know if a lot of people knew that the chapter 21 update was coming out but you know it, it's gonna be out and then we have kimara and malik so i feel like we get these two like every so often right you know the reindeer boss and the big pikachu boss right i feel like we always get them every like six months or something like that but they will be returning so you know um that stuff to do events to grind up and stuff like that exchange shop currency all that good stuff going on there uh but that's i think is that it is that is that, is that it for the 2.5 anniversary in terms of events that can't be it no they're, they're, they're no there's definitely more stuff like here you can see all the stuff that's going to be coming during part one um right now we don't actually know what part two is going to be we do know that we're going to get a new evil lilia probably for christmas um it's looking like she's going to be the christmas unit like a bait banner before another festival unit i'm expecting another festival unit before the end of the year or maybe at the start of the new year like literally like new year or something like that uh because king's banner i'm not sure when it leads on jp but uh we could see something like a new festival banner sometime around here maybe if not yeah probably mid january that'd be pretty uh that'd be pretty you know accurate with the time but yeah so this is all the stuff that's coming out for part one of the point uh 2.5 year anniversary so here you go uh you can look at all this stuff then we have this battle events i don't think anyone really cares about that um new costumes obviously we're gonna have chad king's costumes 
True Seeker Merlin's costumes are returning. And then we have the Ten Commandment Legend in Black Flame costumes uh, coming back as well. Not too sure about the Legend. Is that the, uh, is that the Halloween pack? costumes it, it might be right is it it might be um in black flame i'm not sure about that one either but uh those are coming back <laughs> the costumes are coming back here are some new bundles that'll be happening as well um we have demonic beast bundle of course uh the discount diamond bundle enhancement uh boost selection bundle and uh all that good stuff full awakening token new item okay 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 so this right here we'll get into in a minute but i, I got confused with that there's gonna buy that uh system update so here you go right this is going to be uh what is it a new system so this will be a new system uh where you actually get to fuse materials to make a full awakening totem this is a good step forward for netmarble um i think that they could go a little bit further and make a material for super awakening because that will help a lot but this is a good step right now um you confuse materials that you know you have access of or you know you might not be using like if you're like for me myself right and a lot of other players probably I have every unit that I have in my box. They're already like basically fully awakened. So I don't really use all this stuff too much. So this would be nice to clear up some space in my inventory as well. Um, but yeah, you can fuse these materials to get a full awakening. So I'm not sure how much of each cost to make it, but it, it's still nice that, you know, you have that option, right? It's, it's really, really good. Um, also, Tower of Trials will be resetting. Now, um, I, I think this is... I think this is kind of lazy on Netmarble's part. I'm not going to lie. Uh, because what they're doing is they're basically restart, uh, restarting the Tower of Trials. So that way you can get every single reward again. But that means you have to beat the Tower of Trials again. Like that literally means you have to beat every single stage that you cleared again. Which, okay, but like what, what, what was the point of that right i mean like it's kind of dumb but sure right I mean, sure and um this will be after the uh 12 6 maintenance until right here so um okay <laughs> it's just kind of dumb that they did that uh hawk mission revived missions uh here you go or hawk pass revived mission so uh this is what it's going to be for the missions so they removed these and then they just they kind of just kept these i mean okay sure this made it a little hmm, kind of weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they did this. Now I'm thinking about it because this means you'll get less coins for the Hawk Pass. No, no, it's weird. Yeah, because it's four instead of what was this seven? Now it's only four. Like, is it gonna give us? Is it, is it gonna compensate for the removed missions? I, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see what they we'll see what they end up doing. Um, and then here we go. Weekly missions before and now after. Oh, I like this. I hated this one right here. Uh, cleaning tables and stuff like that. I hated that one. So uh, clearing boss battle twenty times is not gonna be hard at all. Uh, let's see. Send friendship coins to fr <laughs> easy. Clear clear world tree tower five times. Okay, just. It's really easy uh use 20 auto wow this is like it is <laughs> yeah this is really really easy stuff i like this i like this a lot actually this is really really easy stuff uh to go ahead and beat and you know get your uh points or whatever uh so here okay okay so um it does say point slash loyalty adjustment so with the hawk pass you get nine okay all right, so you had nine for doing these three up here, or these four daily missions, which is really good. And then the weekly missions uh, for tier three, 150. Wow, okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Weren't we already getting 150 though? Or were, were we getting nine already as well? I don't know. I have to look back on that. But we, we might not have been getting nine. I think we were, though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think we were getting nine already. Whatever. Um, now, this is good right here. This is I like this a lot. So 
with this update we're actually going to get a item that is going to be able to increase the amount of belmoth cores we get by a hundred percent so yes we are getting a item that will allow us to get more belmoth cores which is a huge w huge huge w um really really good update um for the belmoth as well it's really really good two new holy relics a slater and roxy i mean if you really like roxy i mean this holy relic could be good uh, it does increase her basic stats by a lot because a uh, shout out to davo but he built roxy and he you, like he has this and it does actually increase her stats by a good amount like it is really good for her um so that's you know that's her holy relic it doesn't do anything special but increasing her basic stats by a lot is really good for her um and then slater i mean slater's kind of like it just it sucks i don't know i don't know what else you guys want me to say like this this sucks balls <laughs> if a critical strike occurs from the hero skill so right there that's the problem you're not critting with slater like you're literally never gonna crit with slater with blue slater you possibly can maybe but like the, the chances of you creating it is not happening it's just not happening um so yeah those are the two new holy relics we got a, a new artifact card set bonus as well uh with all this stuff like all these cards and you know whatnot and then it also increased fairy allies basic stats in brawl by 10 percent okay sure <laughs> i guess right i don't really care but that's nice and then we're also going to get a revised skill card image for Halloween Gother. This is due to the same name update, which we will get in two weeks after King drops. So be prepared for that because that's going to be really fun. Uh, improved uh, view of the uh, seven constellations. There you go. And then uh, quality of life update. So Vanya L. Okay, okay. So we can open multiple card packs, which is a, a huge W. Uh, we got Vanya L's. I guess you get three instead of one, which is okay, cool. Uh, chapter rewards. Ooh, okay, so you can look at the chapter rewards that you get. That's really nice. That's clean. That's actually really, really clean. Improved equipment bonus animation. Okay. Okay, so... All bonus effects are now changed at once. Okay, so the yeah, so I guess it just. Oh okay, yeah, I'm what why? <laughs> Am I stupid? Like what? What does it mean? All are changed at once. I thought we already had this in the game. I guess maybe like since you know the bar, maybe, maybe that. I guess I don't really. I, all right sure whatever uh, I'm, I'm, i guess i'm pulling the stupid right now because i don't know improved display of the rates so i guess they're now showing you the rates uh better than before all right cool <laughs> you got rates for the food as well okay all right okay <laughs> adjusted pvp AI. okay when matched with an ai and pvp normally unnecessary pattern have been hmm okay so they adjusted pvp ai okay so they they removed the ai using stamps and resetting cards which is pretty nice actually so you uh the the bots will no longer do that all right okay i wonder if that means that they're actually gonna be smart because that kind of <laughs> that that's interesting i wonder if they're gonna be smart but um in terms of that that's it that's pretty much it for this um this update now when the patch notes come out obviously we're gonna get more information but in terms of that that that's it like that, that's it but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like comment below if you're excited for the 2.5 anniversary on global let me know how much you're going for for king if you're just doing one rotation if you're doing five let me know and subscribe if you do enjoy grand cross content and as always you guys already know i will see you all later